How do you like it? How do you like it? Oh, is this heaven? In today's episode of Movie Mistakes, we're going to take a look at Minions The Rise of Gru. In the 1970s, young Gru tries to join a group of supervillains called the Vicious Six after they fire their leader, the legendary fighter Wild Knuckles. When the interview turns disastrous, Gru and his minions go on the run with the Vicious Six hot on their tails. Luckily, he finds an unlikely source for guidance, Wild Knuckles himself, and soon discovers that even bad guys need a little help from their friends. Hello ladies and gentlemen boys and girls, welcome back to Moving Mistakes. And today, we're gonna show you a few of the goofs we found in. Minions, The Rise of Gru And just a quick FYI for all of our fans out there. I will be doing movie mistakes on the new HBO Max series, The House of Dragons. I was a big fan of Game of Thrones, so I think this one will be fun. I wish to confess. And as usual, we gotta stamp this movie with a spoiler alert. So if you haven't seen the episode, check it out. Oh, and stay tuned to the end of the video to see how you can earn money just by watching my videos. Without further delay let's get into it. Enjoy! For mistake number one, Bell Bottom is riding her motorcycle to escape the cops. If you focus your attention on the clip to the left, you'll see that an agent with black hair is the first one out of the van. However, as we turn our attention to the clip on the right, we can see that the agent with black hair is nowhere to be found. Weren't sure why the animators felt it was necessary to leave him out of this clip, but we thought it was interesting nonetheless. So for this goof, Bell Bottom is still running from the police. If you focus on the clip on the left, I thought it was pretty awesome that she was able to take the chain she uses as a belt and last of it around a fire hydrant. Nothing wrong with that, but when we focus on the clip on the right we can see that it suddenly becomes unfastened from the fire hydrant. How is it possible that it fastened itself in the clip on the left and suddenly just comes loose at the perfect time, in the clip on the right? We're calling this one a blooper. Hey, I got the damage to a pole here! <laughs> Party's over, old man! The Vicious Six has a new head poncho! And I started this group! Where's your loyalty? Oh, please, we're villains! <laughs> There's no such thing! I thought it was interesting when Wild Knuckles asked Bell Bottoms, Where is your loyalty? And she responded to him by saying, Oh, please, we're villains! <laughs> There's no such thing! That would mean to me that there is no loyalty between any of them. How can any of these criminals ever trust her when she makes statements like that? I can't stress how cool I think the animation is in today's landscape. But back to the movie. In this clip, Bell Bottom and her friends are trying to lasso Gru and his minions. When we split the screen we can see that the chain belt breaks off and Bell Bottom no longer possesses it. Take a close look. There's nothing around her waist. But if you take a peek at the clip on the right, you'll see that it's back in place. Is it magic? Does she have superpowers? Is she able to regenerate items that she loses? Or is this just a mistake? We're coming for you, tiny man! And this thing Gru is pretty upset with his minions, and he is threatened to leave them. The clip on the left shows that the pet rock near the minion is close to the edge of the table. But the clip on the right shows that the pet rock is closer to Gru's reef case than it originally was. You're fired! Boy, I sure wish I could buy an airline ticket with stuff I find in my pockets like the minions are trying to do here. I'm sure you've already guessed by now that the position of the contents of his pocket changes positions from the clip on the left to the clip on the right. It's a very subtle change, but if you look closely the position and amount change considerably. Oh great! Here you can see that Wild Knuckles has captured Gru and it's going to kill him if he doesn't act fast. The clip on the left clearly shows that Gru is firmly planted in the middle of the room and there's nowhere near a window. 
This is evident by the light shining on the record player to the left. But if you take a glance at the clip on the right, anyone standing outside of the house can clearly see Gru in the window. That would be physically impossible to do considering his position in the clip on the left. It's about to become your nightmare. For this fail, the minions' attempt to save Gru was not successful. As they make their getaway in the clip on the left we can see that one of the minions is clearly painted to look like a brick wall. However, when they begin to roll down the hill, we can see that the paint has vanished. I've heard of disappearing ink, but disappearing paint is one product that eludes me. We're going to chalk this one up as a goof. So in the scene when the minions are at the Tupperware party with Gru's mother, we can see that there are three ladies sitting to the right of the screen in the clip on the left. There are two blonde ladies and one African-American woman. But as we get a close-up of the three ladies in the clip on the right we can see that there is only one blonde lady now. Where did this other lady come from? Your guess is as good as mine. For our final mistake, Young Gru is attempting to open the vault while Wild Knuckles pretends to need medical attention. Nothing unusual about the fact that people are crowding around to see, especially the bank manager who is to the left of the woman holding the machine. But when the camera pans away and goes back to the bank manager we can see that he is now on the right hand side. Maybe he needed a better look. Hello Movie Maniacs, I have some great news. I am going to be giving away $10 to 3 of my lucky subscribers who find a mistake that I've made in this video, using the Cash App. Be sure to continue to watch the videos, subscribe to the channel, and share as well. The more views we get, the more cold hard cash I can give out. If you don't have Cash App, you can download it on your mobile device, and be sure to use the promo code VRLCN2Z. Point out the mistake in the comment section below, along with your Cash App tag. So what did you think of these movie mistakes? And don't forget to let us know what you'd like to see next, using the hashtag mistakes. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell. We'll keep you updated of all of our up and coming videos. Thanks for hanging out with us here at Moving Mistakes and we'll see you next time. I want to give a shout out to all of our faithful subscribers. Thank you guys for returning again and again. You guys are the best.